Hello everyone, this is Azenar welcoming you to another episode of Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. In this episode we are heading into the Arcane Sanctuary. Now the Arcane Sanctuary, as you can see the lines here, has four wings. And there's absolutely no way uh, from at that point for you to tell which is the correct way and which isn't. Only one of the wings will contain Horizon's journal at the end, which will allow you to identify which Tomb of Talrasha is correct. As well, it'll contain a portal to take you where you need to go. Uh, bone shield's useful, I guess. Now, the Arcane Sanctuary um, is fairly expansive. And it will generally contain this mix of enemies. Between ghosts, ghoul lords, and the uh, minotaur that uh, you saw earlier. I don't know exactly what their name is in this one. At least it doesn't come to mind. I guess next time we fight one of them, I'll check. Now the Arcane Sanctuary here is actually quite a, quite a good place for a sorceress. A lot of times you can see the path is very winding. Um, the fact that you are a ranged character, especially with a one-shot uh, direct attack like lightning, will allow you to deal a lot of damage from far away. Okay, it's Hellclan, is what they are. A lot of the melee characters, if you get stuck, you know, in an, in an area like this, and you start getting attacked by ghoul lords and whatnot, can be kind of difficult to defend yourself. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of show what it looks, uh, what the layout looks like. Um, there are four different kinds of layout. Now it's very likely that uh, off the bat here I've chosen the wrong way. Um, you have a 1 in 4 chance of choosing the right way. I'm going to assume I've chosen the wrong way. So what I'm going to do here is sort of map the entire thing out for you to give you an idea of what it looks like. The Arcane Sanctuary is one area, one of the few areas in the game that isn't procedurally generated. It's the same every time. Now I think what kind of wing you get uh, going in each direction, I think that might change. But other than that, it's the exact same. Therefore, I find it useful to uh, show the layout so you can get an idea. Now you see, this sort of, you get a, a start point to here, and it branches off, and then there's a connector in the middle. If you continue on, as we shall see, either side you can continue on. Nice. Now, here's something fun about the Arcane Sanctuary. Uh, it's very confusing for your helpers. Very confusing. You may, if your minions get confused, have to deal with this one largely on your own. Now there are certain um, things here that are actually... Oh, you're not going to let me do it. Quite useful here. I just want to show something. One thing very useful is teleport. The sorceress, in having teleport, can very quickly move through here. However, very early on, um, due to the amount of mana you have and what your recharge mana recharge rate is, uh, teleport's a very um, prohibitive ability to use a lot. You need to be reserving your mana as ammunition for uh, firing at enemies. But later on, you can probably just um, very easily teleport through a lot of this to get over some of those uh, pesky humps. Another really good um, character to have in the sanctuary here 
is the uh, barbarian uh, with a leap. If your leap is good enough, there's actually a certain amount of area. Um, some of the other wings where there's a um, like an actual chasm between uh, the different um, panels. You you can actually upgrade your leap to a point where it's good enough that you can straight jump over them. Okay, so going through this here, you sort of get an idea of the layout. This is what a wing looks like. Now, this wing is the um, sort of winding stair wing. Oh my god. I can't believe it. This almost never happens to me. No, this is the correct wing. Interesting. Okay, uh, Hazare. Back up for a moment, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, since we have chosen the correct wing... Oh my god. No, no, no. We have to deal with this guy. The summoner. Now, the summoner is a pain, as you can see there. Um, he's much easier to deal with if you're a uh, melee character. Um, if you're a ranged character your uh, helper isn't falling with you and soaking up any damage whatsoever. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find it through the portal. What this basically says, Horizon Journal says, is that these are the signs of the six tombs of Tal Rasha that aren't correct. There are seven tombs, these are the ones that are not correct. So if you go into your quest log, Oh yeah, they want to, for this one we need to go back to town. It'll show you the true Tomb of Tal Rasha is this symbol. However, right now, I'm going to go back to the Arcane Sanctuary, as I was not done demonstrating the uh, some things. Okay. This wing is a little different than some of the others here. This is the straight wing. Uh, this wing is my favorite. Now I'm gonna go through the end to the end of this wing. Uh, just one side. We're not gonna go through the whole thing, but I do want to go to the end of this one to show something else. Come on. Ooh, claymore. Huh. I don't know if you guys have uh, ever read a comic uh, called Eight Bit Theater. But that was something that the one character fighter said once. It's a guy who loves swords. Mmm, claymores. He had dreams about claymores. I don't know why. I don't find a claymore to be a particularly useful sword. They're too big to actually be practical. But to each his own, I guess. Oh boy. Here we go. Lightning Spire. <laughs> I don't like those. The attack they're firing off is the uh, exact same as your lightning. Now, I'm not sure exactly what level of lightning it is, but it's lightning. Okay, Hazade, just follow me. We're not going that way, dum dum. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, see, in here, your helper is just useless. Completely and utterly useless. gonna go up here now at the end of each of the fake roots you're gonna have quite a bit of gold sitting on the ground here you know just sort of 
They'll be in clumps, but there will be a couple of clumps each. And there will be a few chests. Uh, the stuff in this chest is not always amazing, but it's frequently very useful. I'm going to go back to town. I actually want to pick up a few, uh, couple of those things before we go back. You must... I hope that... Yes? Yeah, that's fine. Hello. Come on. Um, okay. What is happening here? Um, just give me a second here, folks. Okay, we are back. I'm not exactly sure why, but the game sort of froze me in a place there. I had to restart to get out of that, but I figured I would still show the items we picked up here. Um, ooh. Poison resist, 4% mana stolen per hit. That is actually very useful. 6 poison damage, some poison resist. I'll keep that. Uh, this scepter, 7,500 gold. That's a really good scepter. The claimer is useless. Hit recovery, no thanks. Probably didn't need to pick that up. Now, since I had to restart, the items that we had in the sanctuary there at the end of that one thing are not there anymore. But there is still something I want to show. Okay, that's the straight shot path. I've showed you that one already. Ah, right, here we go. This is a different one. This is sort of a mix between the stairwells and the straight shot path. So you can see it's straight, there's no winding. But there is a stair case between a lot of the different areas here. Eh, whatever. This is the wine. No, this is not the winding stairway. And this is the last of the four ones. Teleport pads. Each sort of area will have uh, teleporters that you need to take to get to the next area. So those are the four. There's winding staircase, straight shot, teleport pads, and the straight staircase. Now, as you can see from having to reload the game, these will come in in any of the four ways, and any one of the four could be the correct way to go. Now, the Arcane Sanctuary, for me, has always been a really fun place to go to um, grind. It's been a really good place to go to just, you know, make a look, kill a lot of enemies, get some experience, make some money, get some decent stuff from it. Um, I'm going to do something here, though, too, since I might as well show something. We're going to gamble with L6. Now, I like L6. L6 is fun. Um, he always gives you really good stuff. <sighs> On the other hand, I don't know if gambling with L6 is a particularly great idea right now. No, you know, on second thought... Actually, you know what? Attack raining and poison length, fire resist. My rings kind of suck, so you know what? I'll gamble a ring. Okay, yeah. Better chance of getting magic items. That ring is not particularly good. But Elzix, in my experience, out of gambling with all of the people you can in each act, Elzix tends to get the best stuff, and I'm not sure why that is. However, I have shown you the entire Arcane Sanctuary. We've gone through all of that. Uh, that'll be enough for this video. This is Azanar signing off. If you like this video, give me a like. If you really enjoy it, consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.